Hello, my name is Sean Bory, owner of Bory Audio Laboratories. Since about 2000, I have manufactured phonogram blanks. Phonogram blanks or cylinder Edison recording blanks, as some people call them, graphophone blanks. That is what I make. First, I will show you some original blanks for recording purposes. And this is one from about 1900, 18, between 1898 to about 1900. It's a brown wax composition. This is an Edison blank developed by Jonas Ellsworth. Jonas Ellsworth was Thomas Alva Edison's chemist. He was the person who developed the brown wax for Edison's recording blanks. I have been studying this subject since I was a very small child, since the 1980s. And and then started actually making the blanks in 2000. And I've recorded bands like uh, Thomas Nagavin for his album. Uh, I've recorded Grateful Dead, Particle, Willie Nelson, Moe, and many others. Uh, Slick Rick, the Allman Brothers at Madison Square Garden, to name a few that I have recorded and on cylinder record. We're going to uh, look at the new blinks now. Now it's time to introduce the Bory Audio Laboratory recording blink. As you can see, it's very similar to the Edison blink that uh, I showed you, and they're available in many different shades of brown. Here's a lighter blank, and as you can see, pretty much better. There's the spiral core. the recording surface nice and shiny it's even made of the original type of octadecanoic acid the, the main ingredient in cylinder records the main ingredient and here's a whole box that i have i just sent out a couple dozen to customers so this is what i have right now and have made you notice that there are variations in the uh in the uh, color, each batch is weighed to within a hundredth of a gram. However, when you are making the batches of wax, uh, there is a little bit of oxidization that happens as the wax is cooked. The stuff is cooked very high, almost to the flash point of the wax. It's a very dangerous process, a very long, laborious, involved process where you make the wax one day. You have to let it solidify. Reheat it, cast your blanks. They have to season for about 30 days, and then they are shaved and can be packaged and sent out. The blanks actually sound the best after about sitting around for a year. They have a really superior tone quality after about that time. You'll notice that the highs are crisper, the surface noise even goes lower. Uh, they just have the clarity gets better. You, know, you certainly get good recordings when they are brand new, but they seem to, you know, like wine, get better as they age to a certain point. And then after several years, just like the original recording blanks, of course, all the oils and, and emulsifiers that are in wax eventually evaporate, as, as, you know, what happens with the original brown wax blanks. I mean, it's, it's, the composition is virtually, virtually the same. I mean, it's they're pretty dead on in color. See, which one is the original one, and which one is the new one? This is an original blank. This is one of my blanks. You can see the spiral core. This is my own blank, and this is the original blank. So this is the introduction and first video of the new Bory Audio Laboratory recording blank, made proudly in the United States by hand and with great care and time. Thank you for watching. To uh, find me on the net, just Google Bory Audio Laboratories. That's B-O-R-R-I audio laboratories just google it and you will find my website 
All my contact information is on there. You can email me. You know, you can contact me directly here on YouTube. Or you can email Bori Audio Laboratories at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. And have a great evening or morning, whatever it may be.